Hi, my name is Dave Bloom. Um, I'm an outfitter uh, in Montana. Uh, my company is called Bloom Outfitting. Uh, I spend most of my time on the Missouri River, but uh, got other places as well. But uh, lately, in the last few years, there's a fly that's come around called the Paradigon, and it's it's a Spanish fly. It's a really quick sinking nymph that can be deadly at times. Um, so when you're guiding, you have to have something like that in your bag of tricks. And I w was given uh, some of this material by Shane Wooten from uh, Semperfly. And so I tied some flies up with it and it's, uh, it's called a quill sub. It's uh, black peacock is the color. And it makes an unbelievably deadly little fly. Um, I use all kinds of different hooks. You can tie this as a jig. You can tie it as, uh, as a straight nymph, which is what I'm going to be doing here. Well, this is one of the Euro style hooks. It's a good hook, strong. I'll also tie a lot of them on just a plain 3769 Tiempco. Uh, the tail is almost always some sort of Coque de Leon. And uh, this dark in this case, because it's basically a pretty dark fly. Um, and it's really straightforward. So I'll get started here. I'm going to take uh, one of these hooks. And I'm going to mount a bead on that. Okay, and I'm going to be using Vivas 10 aught Black for my main thread. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tie that starting right behind the bead. And I'm just going to wrap back over the flat part of the hook to where it begins to start into the bend and cut my thread. I'm going to take some of this... Uh, Here's that feather that I was talking about, the Coke de Leon. You see the, the beautiful barring on it. Makes for a really nice tail. It's also very stiff. So I'm going to take a bunch of these and I'll pull them 90 degrees to the stem and strip them out of there. And I want this tail to be a little shorter than the complete length of the hook. So I'm gonna tie that in, I'm gonna check that tail. I like that length, so I'm just gonna wrap it forward. I'm gonna get pretty close to the bead. I'm gonna cut that off so I can tuck that right underneath the bead. And I'm gonna wrap forward to right behind the bead. And this is flat braid, so I'm gonna try and install this as flat as I can. I'm gonna tie that right behind the bead and wrap it back. Okay. So now I'm going to take this and I'm going to whip off my main working thread. Cut that short. And I'm going to tie in another spool of Vivas but this time in hot orange. And this is going to make what we call the hot spot. So I'll tie that in. Get right behind the bead. And I'm going to wrap this body material forward. Sort of tapering the body as I go along. I don't want to make this fly too thick. I want it to be skinny so it penetrates and sinks quickly. So I'm going to make a wrap there. Another wrap and then a wrap in front. And I'm going to stretch this tightly and cut. 
I'll check and make sure everything's lined up. It looks good. So now I'm going to just build that orange up a little bit more. And I'll come in and I'll tie that off. That's my hot spot. So then I'll stretch that very tightly and try to keep uh, that, get that cut as close as I can. Okay, my next step is I'm going to grab some of this Solar Res Bone Dry and I'm going to paint this fly with the Bone Dry. So I'm going to just dab that on there and let it soak in. And you can see how cool that starts to look when that resin mixes with that braid. Okay. So now I'm going to cook that with my UV light. Okay, that should be good for now. Now I'm going to take some black solar res. And instead of tying my wing case on this fly, I'm going to paint it in. So I'm going to make sure that I'm right on top. And I'm just going to place a drop of this resin. right behind the bead over the top of the hot spot there. I'm just going to let that settle out a little bit. Let it settle out a little bit more. And I'm going to grab my light and I'm going to cook it again. This time I really only need to cook that wing pad that I just painted in there. Okay. Now I'm going to take the bone dry again and I'm going to hit it with another coat. And this is important because if I don't do this that wing pad won't, won't last very long. So I'm just going to come in here, I'm going to paint over that and try and attach that somehow to that bead. And here, now that I've cooked it, I can see that there's places on the braid that will take more resin. So I'm just going to cover them up. That looks pretty good. So I'm going to come back in and I'm going to cook it again. There we go, and that is the black peacock paradigon, and it's deadly. And I tie that thing in a 12 through a 20. Probably my favorite size is a 16, for sure. You know, you fish it as a nymph, mostly dead drift. A lot of times I'll fish this one on a short nymph rig, um, using it for the weight fly. Sometimes I'll have two paradigons on, and not just one, if I really want to get down in a hurry. But uh, this guy is killer, especially when there's caddis around. It looks like a mayfly, but I think they eat this particular one for a caddis in this size. But if you drop down to a size 16 or an 18, they'll take it for a mayfly. And that's it.